Good day, my schoolers. Welcome to my school channel. My name is Alexandra. Here, we'll be tackling the jam pass question for the subject government year 2017. Don't go anywhere, stay with us, guys. We'll be right back. to my school channel so we'll be talking question 1 to 20 now let's begin with question 1 a constitutional forms with two levels of government is dash option a unit 3 option b evolution option c confederal option d confederation now the answer to this question is confederation now what's confederation confederation is a system of shared powers between two levels of government what are the two levels of government? We have the central government and the local levels of government. Now, the local level of government is made up of confederal states, that is, different countries. Now, in confederation, the local levels or the confederal states have much more power or authority than the central government. So, therefore, it has a low centralization um, system. As opposed to the unitary system of government, which is or involves a single central government. Okay, so here it is highly centralized. Okay, so we have one person in which power and authority is vested upon. And then let's talk about evolution. Evolution is just the gradual development of something. Confederal, confederal is just related to confederation. Okay, so it relates to confederation. And confederation is the noun form. It's just a distractor. I consider option C as a distractor. Okay, so option D is the correct answer to this question. Question two, the essence of ECOWAS is to dash, option A, bring political parties together, option B, first time to state economic and political cooperation, option C, imagine political events, option D, expansion of scopes and powers. The answer to this question is option B, ECOWAS with the full meaning economic community of West African states established on the 20th of May, 1975. Its main purpose or ambition is to foster economic integration and political cooperation. Okay, so the answer to this question is option B. Question 3. The head of government under the 1979 constitution is the dash. Option A, president. Option B, prime minister. Option C, speaker of the house of representative. Option D, senate president. The answer to this question is option A, president. Okay, so before the 19, 1979 constitution, we had the 1963 constitution and we know it operated or started the presidential system of government. But however, the president was acting as the head of state or the ceremonial head in presence of Inamdi Azikwe and then the head of government as the prime minister in person of Tafa Balewa. But then in 1979, we had the um, what I'll call original presidential system of government that operated the presidential system of government that combines the head of state and the head of government together acting as the president. So option A is the correct answer to this question. Question 4. The characteristics of the civil servant which prevents its officers from addressing the press unless directed is known as dash. Option A, impartiality. Option B, neutrality. Option C, anonymity. Option D, impersonality. The answer to this question is option C, anonymity. Okay, so anonymity, it means that civil servants are not expected to reveal their identity or speak to the press unless directed by the minister. Okay, so all of these are considered as characteristics of civil servants, except for option D, should not be considered as a characteristic of um, civil servants. Okay, so when we talk about impartiality, that means the civil servant should be fair and just to any form of government, any type of government. Okay, so option B, neutrality means um, the civil servant should not engage in politics unless resigned, unless they resign from their appointment. Okay, so the answer to this question is option C because the question is a definition of the anonymity of uh, civil servants. Okay, so option C is the correct answer to this question. Question 5. The granting of internal authorities to the regions came under which constitution? 
Option A, Lee Flitting Constitution. Option B, Richard Constitution. Option C, Clifford Constitution. Option D, Mark Fossin Constitution. Now, the answer to this question is Richard Constitution. Do not forget Richard Constitution of 1946, which introduced regionalism. Okay, so we had three regions was created or established during this constitution. We had the north, the east, and the west okay so we also know that in this um, constitution nigerian participated in the legislative council okay it had more nigerians in the legislative council even though they were unofficial issues okay but nigerians participated and we also recorded that one nigerian was a member of the executive council okay so this is the answer to the question as expressed here so option b is the answer to this question do not forget to take practice questions with our simulated John CBT past questions. All you need to do is you click on the link in the description below. It takes you to the My School website. Then you can download My School mobile app for your Android, or you could download My School software for your computers and laptops. So please go ahead and download and start practicing this question. Now moving on to question six. In the year 1911, who argued most? Representative six them deteriorate towards an oligarchy or patriarchy. Option A, Robert Michels. Option B, Adolf Gasser. Option C, Adolf Hitler. Option D, Edmund Burke. Now, the answer to this question is option A, Robert Michel. Okay, so he is the author of this book titled Political Parties, and here he argues that most representative system deteriorates or become progressively worsen towards oligarchy or patriarchy in the year 1911. So the answer to this question is option A, Robert Michels. I believe you are enjoying this content. Please do not forget to hit the like button, click on the subscribe button, and tap on the bell notification to get informed as soon as we release the next videos. Question 7. In the 18th century, a new wind of development blew over Europe, and the development was referred to Dash. Option A, Labor Revolution. Option B, Doctrine Revolution. Option C, Industrial Revolution. Option D, Economic Revolution. The answer to this question is Industrial Revolution. Option C. Okay, so Industrial Revolution is the transition or modification of a new manufacturing processes in Europe and United States. Okay, so from about 1760 to 1820 and 1840 there are about. Okay, so this is probably pretty much in the 18th century. So option C is the correct answer to this question. Question 8. What major merit of the unitary system of government is that dash? Option A is most democratic. Option B is cheaper to operate. Option C eradicates co cooperation. Option D eliminates tyranny. The answer to this question is option B, is cheap to operate. Do not forget that the unitary system of government has its power concentrated in a single person. Okay, so it is cheap to operate, that is less cost, quick action, the constitution is flexible and all of that. So option B is the correct answer to this question. Question 9. The legal right to exercise power in a state is known as dash. Option A, authority. Option B, sovereignty. Option C, coercion. Option B, influence. The answer to this question is authority. Authority is that legal right to exercise power, that legal right to compel obedience. It entails legitimate right to do something. Okay, so when we talk about sovereignty, it's the supreme authority. Coercion is the use of threat or force to compel one to obey an instruction or something. Option D, influence is a way of creating an effect on someone's behavior or character. Okay, so from my explanation, we can conclude that option A is the correct answer to this question. Question 10. Bills passed by the legislation usually requires the approval of the following except dash. Option A, governor. Option B, member house of representative. Option C, monarch. Option D, president. The answer to this question is option B, member house of the representatives. Okay, so bill passed by the legislation usually requires executive approval. And this includes the president, monarch, or governor. Okay, so they approve um, the bill passed by this legislation before it becomes a law. Do not forget there are seven procedures on how a bill can become a law and the last stage or the last procedure is titled assent and assent has to do with the approval, the executive approval, which can be a president, a monarch or a governor. So from my explanation, we can conclude that option B is the correct answer to this question. 
Question 11. Disputes among member states of ECOWAS are settled by DASH. Option A, the Technical and Specialized Commission. Option B, Board of Trustee. Option C, the Community Tribunal. Option D, the Council of Ministers. The answer to this question is Option C, the Community Tribunal, also called the Community Court, which is composed of five independent judges and they are appointed for a four year tenure or term in office. So, Option C is the correct answer to this question. Question 12. That is the act of wearing campaign paraphernalia or carrying signs to a polling center with the intent of influencing voters. Option A, polling center. Option B, candidate. Option C, passive electioneering. Option D, electorate. The answer to this question is option C, passive electioneering. Now, this is an act of carrying or uh, wearing campaign paraphernalia or carrying symbols with the intentions of influencing um, voters. So, option C is the correct answer to this question. Question 13, the totality of Nigerians participation in the international system is known as DASH. Option A, international policy. Option B, foreign policy. Option C, economic policy. Option D, social policy. The answer to this question is foreign policy. Do not forget that foreign policy has to do with the involvement or the participation of a country in the international affairs. Okay, so foreign policy is designed to achieve um, national objectives. Okay, so the idea of Nigeria's participation in international system or in being involved in international issues is called foreign policy. So option B is the correct answer to this question. Question 14. One important agent of a political socialization is the dash. Option A, political party structure. Option B, political party. Option C, party constitution. Option D, electoral college. The answer to this question is political party. Option B. Now, do not forget that political socialization has to do with or is the process of acquiring political belief, value, attitude, and all of that. This is to shape one's political behavior. Okay, so when we talk about agents of political, uh, political socialization, we're talking about the medium through which a person acquires or the means through which a person can acquire political uh, behavior. So we look at family, we look at religion institutions, we look at other institutions like school colleges, Political parties can serve as an agent through which we acquire political behavior. Okay, so they do this through our campaign rallies, the educators. Okay, so option B is the correct answer to this question. Question 15. The primary source of funds for local government is DASH. Option A, grants. Option B, loan. Option C, statutory allocation. Option D, fines. The answer to this question is option C, statutory allocation. Now, all of this can be considered as sources of revenue for uh, local government. But then option C is the primary or the major source of uh, revenue for local governments. It's the number one. So when we talk about statutory allocation, we're talking about a required or a permanent allocation starting from the federal government. Okay, so option C is the correct answer for this question. Do you have questions you would like to ask? You can go ahead and ask your question by using the link provided in the description below. Click on this link. It takes you to the MySchool website. There you can ask as many questions as possible and solutions will be provided to you within a short period of time. Now, moving on to question 16. The United Nations is a replacement for which ineffective organization? Option A, World War II. Option B, League Nations. Option C, OPEC. Option D, ECOWAS. The answer to this question is option B, League of Nations. Now, League Nations was established in the year 1919 after the, world, the First World War, which happened in 1914 to 1918. This was established to prevent another outbreak of war. But then the Second World War happened around 1939 to 1945. Now, this was a failure on their part, on the part of the League of Nations. And so, United Nations was established in the year 1945. Okay, so... The answer to this question is no other than option B, League of Nations. Do you have better steps, explanations, or solutions to any of those questions? If so, don't forget to share this information with us by indicating the question and the solutions you would like to share in the comment section below. Question 17. Which of the following emphasizes the rule of law and human rights protection. Option A, constitutionalism. Option B, delegated legislation. Option C, decentralization. Option D, centralization. Now, the answer to this question is option A, constitutionalism. Now, this is a doctrine that a government should be based on constitution. 
Now let's look at the question. It talks about rule of law and human rights. Now when we talk about rule of law, rule of law is a provision made by the constitution. It's usually stated in the constitution and rule of law embraces the right of a citizen. So rule of law and human rights are interwoven. In other words, it is impossible to see the violation of human rights in a country that practices rule of law. So when there is rule of law, there is human rights. Okay, so the answer to this question is constitutionalism. Okay, so when we talk about delegated legislation, delegated legislation limits rule of law. Where there is delegated legislation, it limits, it always limits the rule of law. Okay, it's a limitation to rule of law. So option A is the correct answer to this question. Option C and D has nothing to do with the question. So our final answer is option A. Question 18. Laws enacted by the legislatures are known as DASH. Option A, legislation. Option B, legislature. Option C, budget. Option D, executive. The answer to this question is option A. Option A is called um, legislation and it is used to describe uh, a law that has been passed by the parliament. Okay, it is called a law. It's also used to describe the act of making new law. So legislation is also called a law, a law that has been passed by parliament. So option A is the correct answer to this question. Question 19. The quorum in the OPEC conference is formed with the attendance of option A, one third of the member states, option B, half of member states, option C, member states, option D, three quarter of the member states. Now the answer to this question is a simple majority. And when we talk about a simple majority, we're talking about three quarter okay it's usually more than half okay a simple majority is usually more than half or um three quarter okay so we can see that option d is the answer to this question three quarter of the member states so option a we have one third one third simply means one out of three parts okay half of member states is one out of two parts then member states is just um ambiguous could be one it could be two it could be three it could be all so we can't go for that. So option D is the correct answer to this question. Question 20. Bylaws are made by the dash. Option A, judiciary. Option B, legislature. Option C, media. Option D, executive. The answer to this question is option B, legislature. Bylaws are made by the legislature. But then there's a concept of delegated legislature. Now, bylaws can be delegated to the executive arm, okay? When we talk about delegated, it means it's something like being entrusting something to someone, okay? So, but they are made by the legislature. The answer to this question, therefore, is option B. We've come to the end of the segment, and I believe you enjoyed it. Please do not forget to hit the like button, click on the subscribe button, and tap on the bell notification to get informed as soon as we release the next videos.